The stereotype of the chess player is someone who is smart, logical, good at maths and a sharp strategic thinker. But does chess make you smarter, or it's just that intelligent people are more likely to play it? Well stay tuned to find out. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. It's important to note that, there are many forms of intelligence, and we can say that chess players are smarter than other people in some aspects mainly in terms of analytical or strategic thinking, but they could be equal with them in other elements, putting them at the same level overall. A study of 4,000 Venezuelan students produced significant rises in the IQ scores of both boys and girls after four months of chess instruction. Add on that, chess helps prevent Alzheimer's because the brain works like a muscle and it needs exercise like any bicep or quad to be healthy. And a recent study, featured in the New England Journal of Medicine found that, people over 75 who engage in brain stretching activities, like chess for example, are less likely to develop dementia than their non-board game playing peers. Also in chess, a good player remembers how their opponent operated in the past, and recalls moves that have helped him win before. That's where it plays a role in improving your memory and organizational skills by growing your dendrites. Basically, they are the tree-like branches that conduct signals from other neural cells into the neurons they are attached to. Learning a new skill like playing chess causes dendrites to grow, but that growth doesn't stop once you've learned the game. Interaction with people in challenging activities also fuels dendrite growth, and chess is a perfect example. In the German study, researchers expected to find that the left side of the brain is much more active while playing chess. But they did not expect that the right side of the brain is going to be as active, concluding that chess exercises both sides of the brain. Since the right side of the brain is responsible for creativity, it should come as no surprise that activating it helps develop your creative side. That's not all, one of the last parts of the brain to develop is the prefrontal cortex, an area of the brain responsible for planning and judgment. Since chess teaches foresight, it promotes prefrontal cortex development, and helps the player make better decisions in all areas of life. What makes this game special is that, it's like one big puzzle that needs to be solved on the fly, while your opponent keep changing the parameters. It raises your IQ, improve your memory, helps with planning, develops your academic and practical intelligence and on top of that it's fun to play.